I will never truly understand why I was chosen. And I accept that now. Perhaps that is why it had to be me. In his novice, the genium. Gratula Dibi. Like this, up of Eric Nolko. Magisti Benedicte, lì ci ne dimmo i stui per ricordare. Dicite. Io non è stato, non strai e fosciai. Tutto in fermi è stato i capiti. E tanto in quel palco di il omicimus. Quale si viste l'un novis si ungere? Senti, ma fai di occidente. Io provo a rogare Nisi per fare il beneficio. I libri nostri che hanno scritto. Prezzi di voto. E da un giorno credo. Bene. Every fiber of my strength was reduced to ash as the pain pulsed from my eye through my body. 
Silent agony serving as a confirmation for my certain death. A death I would soon wish for that would never come. Counting the days quickly became a fruitless endeavor. Years wasted away into decades. Lifetimes came and went. Love and family were lost to the shadows. And I was alone. Je puis observer que vous n'êtes point de notre contraire. Oui. Souhaiteriez-vous un pot d'eau? Je vous left me cold, but somehow she brought a fleeting breath of life back into my lungs. an error in judgment I never made again. The desire for vengeance, for this curse overflowed in my veins. I needed to find the man responsible for my torment.
It's an ingenious system, really. There's no reason anyone should suspect that, that it's anything more than, you know, simple metal ring. There's no way to tell what's really going on. There's also the, the contact display. Well, in truth, I probably couldn't have made any of this possible without the book. It, it just sort of uh, showed up one day. The, uh, the front cover has a hand-tooled rendition of a griffin. There, there we go. It's just, the craftsmanship is exquisite. I, I can't begin to imagine how long that must have taken. I, I like to keep it on me, uh, even though I've already digitized all the information. In it. I memorized the entire thing. It's exactly 85, 84 and a half pages long. Uh, poems, for the most part. And after having read through it um, so many times, I began to notice a pattern in the pages. It took me years, but I eventually learned to decode the cipher. This is going to sound crazy, but um, this book contains the formulas that taught me how to bend space. And eventually I applied those principles to bend time. There were other messages within the cipher. Page 16, 500 Anno Domini, Monte Cassino, Wisdom in the words. Page 43, 1967, flight C-79, Los Angeles, the catalyst. I'm still trying to figure out why the book keeps sending me to these seemingly random places in time. They don't appear to have any obvious historical significance. That last page always bothered me. It's ripped in half. Right down the center. 1299 Anno Domini. Here come, you see? Coordinates to a little wooden house in Auvergne. I had theories about the book's origin. I figured it was a gift from a future version of myself. But I guess I was wrong. And I could finally figure out the meaning of the last page. Avoid the wooden house. Je suis désolé. Je vais... Où allez-vous? Comment allez-vous faire? Capé Stur. Capé Stur! Le bistemé. My chance to end this plague had slipped from my grasp. But all was not lost. He left behind the book. After studying it for hundreds of years, I found hidden meaning in its passages. I was sure the book would lead me to my cure. Sorry. Sir, can I offer you some peanuts? Oh, um... Ladies and gentlemen of Flight C-79, we are experiencing some slight turbulence and the captain has turned on the fasten seatbelt sign. Please remain in your seats at this time. Thank you. Do you travel often? Yes. 
Is Boston your final destination? Mm-hmm. Me too. I'm uh, heading to a medical conference there. What do you do? Um, I'm a medical researcher. Study what? Uh, it's it's kind of complicated. Complicated can sometimes be interesting. Okay. Uh, my company is studying different methods of isolating compounds from bone marrow, blood, different types of tissues. What's the name of the company? Cypra. unable to escape a poem from the book. Beyond the reach of man or oh heavens, mountains destined for dust, waves decay into sand, through rise and fall of form and erosion, the horizon remains true, eternal. The book had not brought me there to die, but rather to put me on another path. Great to see you, sir. I took a look at your recommendation, and I wholeheartedly agree. Cypress shows a lot of promise. I think it'll be a great addition to your portfolio, and I, I feel safe investing $500,000 during the first round of financing. Along with that, I'm very excited. I have another, I got oil, I got car manufacturers. I mean, it's really gonna round things out. I'd like to invest everything. Everything, imagine that. All of it. Yes, everything. Oh, okay, let's just, uh, let's just slow things down a little bit. Um, I, I know you uh, inherited a large sum of money from your family and, and the medical field is very exciting. Believe me, I looked at the numbers myself and, and, and Cypra, I mean, I have no doubt that it'll be very successful, but diversity is the key to any successful- That is my final decision, Mr. Scott. Uh, in good faith, I can't risk your assets. Okay. Okay, so uh, so you would be uh, naturally the lead investor. I would negotiate uh, a seat at the board and a meeting with the president. No, and I would like for you to act as my proxy. Uh, that's not, I'm just a paper pusher, basically. A glorified yeah. paper pusher. That's what I want, Mrs. Scott. Thank you for your time. Okay. Yeah, sure. No, I mean, I can go in there. Thank and I can... you for everything that you have. I, I convey what you want. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Until this moment, my entire life was an aimless search for a cure to become human again. 
And I finally knew that Cypra was the key. Come in. They tried to drown me, but I would not drown. They tried to burn me. I would not burn. I quickly learned that discretion and anonymity were imperative. at Cypra, we've been testing blood samples for 30 years. Intermittently, we've come across a fascinating blood compound. It's an extremely robust protein that complements the body's response to damage and degeneration. When injected into animals with movement disorders, the compound morphs into a protein we're calling entheozyme. We're showing promising results with Parkinson's cerebral palsy. It's going to take a while, but it could someday be tested on humans. When injected into a subject that is actively bleeding, the compound adapts into a protein we're calling Velox. It stops the bleeding almost instantaneously. Currently, we are developing it into a first aid auto injector. Sir, if I may speak freely, this compound will dramatically change millions of people's lives. You can isolate the compound from blood. Sure. Absolutely. Tell me how. As the Velux was filtered from my blood, I started to remember what it was to feel alive again. So sorry. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. I leave it. Leave it. I didn't mean to. It's fine, really. I can just wrap it up. No, no, nonsense. <sighs> now I promise you won't feel a thing. never been a good idea. Why is that? 
I have a condition that causes muscle spasms. I'm sorry to hear that. No, that seems to be doing the trick. Thank you. Of course. You know, Cyprus is doing some clinical trials. That might interest you. Yeah. Yes, it's all about people regaining their, their motor control after spinal cord injuries and strokes. Could be a good candidate. Morning. Morning. Before we get started, let me just preface by informing you about Pentheozyme. This drug has gone through rigorous testing and extensive development for nearly three decades, okay? Wow. So, it is completely safe to ingest. Now, if you have any minor side effects, go ahead and just call the number right there on the bottle. Anything serious, I would advise you to go to a hospital as soon as possible, okay? Okay. Good job. Do you have any questions? What should I expect? Well, we're still in the beginning stages of human trials, so your dosage will be kept low, but I would definitely expect a lower frequency and size in your spasms and the tremors. Uh, those should be substantially reduced, if not completely eradicated. Yeah, we've had terrific results with this drug, so we will set you up with an appointment in about a month to follow up, okay? Thank you. Good to meet you. Me too. According to this, you have experienced a complete loss in tremors, you haven't had an episode in two weeks, so that's great. Yeah, it's, uh, it seems like it's going really well. Are you experiencing any side effects, anything out of the ordinary? Please, don't do this to me! No. That's great news. Anybody experiencing any other side effects? Well, to be honest, we haven't really seen much of anything. There's been a couple limited cases with some numbness, some tingling, but why are you experiencing something else? No, I was just curious. Well, you're good to go. Thank you. I knew what I must do. We're 
We're here with Silico's lead engineer. He's the architect behind the Terminal Transportation Network, and he's here to promote his new book, Impossible Leaps, Dr. Wade Edwards. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Dr. Edwards, your work at Silico has made it possible for people to travel around the world in a matter of seconds. What was the inspiration behind the original discovery? That's a long story, but I will say that I believe true inspiration must come to you. It's it's beyond the reach of man or heavens. <laughs> that, that's beautiful. I, I take it you're also a poet. Oh, no, no. That's just from an old book I was given when I was young. <laughs> well, you've already changed the world. How do you follow that up? What I'm working on now, I believe, will have an even greater impact on humanity. <laughs> okay, now, those are some mighty big words. Now, you got to give us a little hint of what's going on here. This is how I get you to invite me back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Stick around, folks. Dr. Wade Edwards is going to talk a little bit more later on. was actually talking about potentially reclassifying a couple of the rooms as tier one. Let me see. No, that's not it. Tier one would have given me authorization error. I think it's just a faulty reader. Could you go remote? Boss, I, I thought we... Go ahead and remote this. Also, you can start the report on this faulty reader. I'll sign it once I finish this round. Okay, copy that, I'll get right on it. Don't worry. You'll regain control in about 30 minutes.
Hey. Cecilia. I got it. Thank you. I knew you'd come from. Of course. Milligrams? 200. It will last longer. Thank you. When did you remove the case? 3.05 a.m. Approximately. Exactly. That's good. You okay? Yes. Yes, I'm fine. Okay. See you soon? Cecilia. Hmm? Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you.